Does streaming with your driver software like Radeon Adrenaline or NVIDIA Share slash Shadowplay get you better performance than using OBS Studio? Let's find out. Welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Chris and this is Coalition Gaming, where I like to share my knowledge of PC building, repairing, and streaming with you all. If you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Outside of someone like Epos Vox, not many people are talking about how good the Radeon Adrenaline driver software is. You can record your gameplay, tune your GPU, and optimize graphic settings all without a login. One of the lesser known benefits, you can completely configure streaming using this software without having to use OBS, scenes and all. When GeForce Experience was first launched as Shadowplay, being able to stream directly from it with the face cam was pretty neat. I also noticed that doing that impacted FPS far less than OBS and its old NVENC implementation too. So that has me thinking, if I stream through Radeon Adrenaline, will I get better frames per second than if I use OBS Studio? Let's test that out and find out. When it came to the benchmarks, I configured both Adrenaline and OBS Studio with three scenes, a webcam, an overlay for alerts in all scenes, and an extra overlay for additional information in the gaming scene. This is how I configured Adrenaline stream settings. Feel free to pause if you need to look at it longer. And this is how I configured OBS Studio stream settings. Again, feel free to pause. Okay, cool. So now we have a face cam. It's gut. I had some issues regarding visual clarity between the two methods, but after looking closer, whatever issues exist aren't really enough to crown one a winner over the other in terms of just how good it looks. They both look fine and run fine, but when it comes to performance, also pretty close. Adrenaline didn't give the advantage I was kind of expecting to see. It was either near identical FPS or only slightly better not really enough to make a difference. In the end, I'd say use OBS to stream with your Radeon GPU because you'll have the extra configurability and flexibility that gives OBS the advantage over more simplified streaming suite that Adrenaline offers. That said, the kind of configurability Adrenaline does offer absolutely stomps all over Nvidia's offering and all without yet another specific login for the driver software. Major points to AMD for this. Speaking of making OBS run better to maintain good performance in games, check out this video where I go over exactly that. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash Coalition Chris. So if you have more streaming tech or PC hardware questions, feel free to stop by, drop a follow, and let's talk tech. Anyways, that does it for me. My name is Chris, and I've been your stream technician. See you in the next one.